A lot of unknowns because this is the first year that this event has been hosted, but the interest was there. It also helped that tickets were just $10. We were here late this afternoon and saw lines stretching around the block for fans waiting to get into T-Mobile Park. The road to the majors is often made through college ball, through high school baseball. The first day of All-Star Week in Seattle was dedicated to the pro hopefuls. I think it gives them opportunity that, that, that they can make it at this level and just to see how it feels to play in a big time stadium. He's talking about the first ever Swingman Classic. Keep going down, keep going down, guys. An event where more than 50 student athletes representing historic black colleges and universities from across the country will showcase their skills inside T-Mobile Park. We have pride for our HBCUs, especially Howard. Go Howard, go Spelman, Morehouse in the building. So we're just excited to see them on this side of the coast. It means a lot. It means a lot to have our schools recognized and our athletes recognized. They are D1 schools and a lot of people don't realize that they're not, they're of a good caliber and our athletes are excellent and need to be recruited. For Cleo Brooks of Seattle, it's a chance to brag about her alma mater, Southern University, an HBCU in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We have a number of students who come from the Seattle area interested in black colleges, and we want to make sure that more students know about HBCU opportunities. Friday's opening day featured the first of many events this week that are less about runs and more about inspiring the future generations. No matter what road to the majors, they choose to follow. The Mariners organization keeps tabs on attendance for T-Mobile Park. As of about 4 p.m., they say they sold between 10 and 20,000 tickets. That's a big range there, but they say that they expect a lot of people, expected a lot of people to show up last minute and get tickets at the box office, especially with how cheap those $10 seats were. So a good kickoff to All-Star Week here in Seattle.